What's up everybody? Welcome back. My name is Rahe Tusher and today we're looking at how to change the PLA in your 3D printer. Today also, by the way, is May 4th, so may the 4th be with you. Um, when this goes up, it's actually May 5th, but you know what, let's just... It's an, it's an illusion, it's an illusion. We're inside a box, okay? Listen, we're, listen. May the 4th be with you. Anyways, uh, and I have the Snapmaker 2 A350, uh, so that's what I'm going to be using specifically. I assume it's probably the same for all the different kind of 3D printers out there. It takes like, a couple of steps, so let's hop on into it and get right to it. Alright, today we're going to try and do a voiceover, try and learn some new video editing techniques and everything. So to begin, we're going to go ahead and turn on our Snapmaker, and then our next step, you do not have to do this, but I'm going to open up the Snapmaker 3D printing module, kind of show you the gear that pulls in the Snapmaker and kind of pushes it out, just to, you know, kind of show you something special and everything like that. Again, we don't need to do anything with that, so we're going to go ahead and close that back up, um, and yeah. Next, you're going to go ahead, go to our home screen, swipe right, click on the control panel. Um, when you do this for the first time each session, uh, it's going to go ahead and ask you to zero all the axes. Go ahead, do it, totally fine. And then when you get done with that, click on nozzle and hit OK. Just saying that it wants to raise the temperature up to 200 degrees Celsius and stuff like that for the unloading process. And then when you reach your final target temperature, click unload, and then you're gonna go ahead and watch the PLA come out. Now here I am not pulling on it, I am merely like riding the subway I wanna say, where I just have my hand on it, so that way you can see it coming out, but I'm not applying any pressure. It's just so that way at home you can uh, understand and see the PLA coming out. Otherwise you'd never be able to see it on this single red line and stuff like that. So finally it uh, is released from the gears. You can go ahead and kind of gently pull it out and then take your PLA off and boom, magic of editing, uh, put your green PLA on the spool rack. And then I always do mine underneath the cord, um, just so that way it kind of is out of the way. Go ahead and load it gently into the top of it and hit load on your like control touch screen. And then again, we're gonna be riding the subway just gently showing that it's going in don't apply any pressure or anything the gears will take care of that and stuff like that so we're just gonna watch it kind of go in for a little bit and then eventually you'll get enough in there that it's gonna have to spew out the uh, green PLA and you will see that the red part down there actually will turn green okay so there's finally enough in there you can see it starting to spew out you can see the gradient from red to kind of gray to green and now boom look at that all the green is coming out it is fantastic and stuff like that um, i did have to hit load twice i hit it like two or three times sometimes just to make sure that the pla gets all the way through and it's all set and ready to go and stuff like that now we're finally done you can get out of the control panel you can go back to the home screen and hit start and 3d print whatever your heart desires all right well that's all you have to do to change the pla for your 3d printer um if you've been wanting to print with a different color but you've been a little nervous Hopefully this video will give you the confidence to be able to do so. Uh, the one thing I do recommend that you look at when you do it, uh, look at the temperature for what your PLA prints at, like the Snapmaker one starts at 205, and uh, I have some other PLA that will print at 215, and sometimes you can get a couple of troubles if you like have it at the wrong temperature and everything. So just, just look out for that whenever you're changing it. Other than that, if you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more videos, consider subscribing. Uh, it'd be super awesome. And if you have any questions or you just feel like chatting, uh, leave a comment down below and I will try to answer it. Uh, I don't get very many, so I answer almost all of them. Uh, but yeah, other than that, thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Have a fantastic day. Let's